Authorities in New Jersey are charging a top political power broker with operating a racketeering enterprise. The New Jersey Attorney General says George Norcross threatened and extorted businesses with properties along the Camden waterfront and obtained tax incentive credits, which he and his co-defendants then sold for millions of dollars. Our Steve Keeley is breaking down today's indictment that's rocked the New Jersey political landscape. Steve? Well, this has been a long-time investigation resulting in today's unsealing of the big-time indictment involving what you're seeing here right across the Delaware River, the Camden waterfront development that's been going on for the past 12 years. 111 pages detailed, racketeering, recorded phone calls, and six prominent people now facing multiple criminal charges, the six referred to by the New Jersey Attorney General as the Norcross Enterprise. The Norcross Enterprise took the Camden waterfront all for themselves. As George Norcross himself allegedly said, quote, this is for our friends. The announcement of charges was staggering, but so was the sight of George Norcross, right there in the first seat and the first row, attending the news conference in Trenton, announcing his own criminal charges. As he sat just feet away from the attorney general, as Matt Platkin outlined the case against him. The Norcross enterprise used its power and influence over government officials to craft legislation tailored to serve the interests of the Norcross enterprise. And with the cooperation of former mayor of Camden, Dana Redd, they co-opted the Camden city government to aid the Norcross enterprise in obtaining property and property rights along the Camden waterfront through coercion, extortion, and other criminal acts. Among those alleged criminal acts, the attorney general said was a private developer of apartments and retail on the Camden waterfront forced to relinquish property rights so the Norcross Enterprise could build this, the tallest building on the Camden waterfront known as Triad 1828. The center now the headquarters of companies run by three of the men charged today. When the developer would not initially relinquish his rights on terms preferred by the Norcross Enterprise, George Norcross threatened the developer that he would in substance and in part, quote, F you up like you've never been effed up before. In a later recorded phone call, George Norcross admitted to threatening the developer and recalled a conversation with the victim developer asking Norcross, quote, are you threatening me, end quote. To which George Norcross responded, quote, absolutely. The state alleges that George Norcross has been running a criminal enterprise in the state for at least the last 12 years. This alleged conduct of the Norcross enterprise has caused great harm to individuals, businesses, nonprofits, the people of the state of New Jersey, and especially, especially to the city of Camden and its residents. That stops today. In a November 8th interview in his office on the top floor of the Triad 1828 building mentioned in the indictment, I asked George Norcross then about the investigation into his company's development and dealings on the Camden waterfront. We believe it's a witch hunt and an unjustified um, attack on the things we've done in Camden. Now, my partners and I have invested $300 million of our own money here in Camden. Nobody was coming to Camden, nobody, unless they were incentivized. Well, the former Camden mayor, Dana Red, was surprised by today's legal action. Her lawyer said in a statement, she's done nothing wrong. What she has done is served the Camden community in public and not-for-profit roles for more than three decades. She has cooperated fully with the grand jury investigation for over a year and is unaware of evidence of wrongdoing by her or others. This 111-page indictment, Chris and Sheba, is really fascinating reading, and there are plenty of, quote, unindicted co-conspirators. And tonight, the guessing game are what prominent names are behind the unindicted co-conspirators since Mr. Norcross was connected to quite a few powerful people himself. All right, Steve, thank you.